How is it to go one day out today, everybody? This is Jordan Jones on my playthrough of New Super Mario Bros. 2 for Nintendo 3DS. If you guys can give me a favor and show your love and support in the comments below and leave a like on this video, I'd really appreciate that. I want to ask you guys this. For question of the video, um... Huh. Okay, I have an idea why I want to ask you for a question of the video. Um... Do you like Boo House levels? Yes or no? If yes, which one is your favorite? I love Boo House levels so much, but... It's a good time. Since we're going to a Boo House right now, this Boo House, I have to say, um, is tedious, but very easy when you get used to it. It's not difficult. Off screen, I had to get a power up because I don't want to take any chance of dying just because I do get hit, so I won't have to die, and I know I won't die at any time. So, what I expect you to do is, um, this one is tedious. Um, you have to, they hide the star coins really good here. This is an example of completely hidden. If you go here, you have to hit, which switch do you have to hit to get this star coin? Oh. Okay, you have to hit the right switch, okay. This is a, a, an example of completely hidden. Uh, they hide it really good, making it hard to, um, know where the star point is, like, like that. So, what you gotta do right here is you wanna hit this switch right here. This is a very interesting boo house, I like it a lot, um, these boo house levels are really fun, but, um, my favorite boo house level, I have to say, is, um, also let me know in the comments below what your favorite and least favorite boo house level is. Boo house level, um, I don't really like the Boo House levels in Mario 3 World. I don't really like the Boo House levels in that game. Because those Boo House levels were annoying and tedious. Okay, we're going to, um... You want to go in this middle door if you want to get the second star point. Like, Game Explain told me what to do, and I did not remember this. Like, you have to activate that switch, and then you want to have a Tanuki Tail when you do it, so you can do it pretty easily. Um, pretty simple, that's all you gotta do. I don't remember ever dying on this level in my life. So, um, we, we want to go in this door right here, so. So, this is the part that's completely hidden. You'd be like, this is, you'd be like, this is crazy. So, it's actually really simple. You want to hit the two right switches, open the top path, and then you want to do this. You want to hit the switch there, and then you want to do this. And that's it. Very simple. And to get to the secret exit, you want to hit that switch right there. If you can go there, Mario! Come on, Mario! Quit slipping and sliding! Um... And that's it. Very simple. Very easy boo house, like I said. But very tedious if you don't know what you're doing, because they do hide the star coins really good in this boo house. I managed to get all three. And now we're going to do the regular exit. I'm not going to cut or anything like that to it. Because I want to explore this level with you guys. Because this is such an awesome level. And I just want to take you on alternate pathways. Um, I can't bet you guys would like that. So we're going to go in the right door this time. And this is a very interesting pathway. This should be interesting. So this part. Um, I'll, I'm also showing this route. Just in case if you're watching this playthrough as a guide. You end up going through this door. Just in case you're watching it as a guide. Like, if you hit the, if you hit this block right here, um, I mean this switch right here, this block appears right there. If you hit, uh, you have to hit this one right here, and you have to hit, hit this one right here in order for the door to appear, and you have to hit this middle one, and then go inside the door. Very simple. Very easy. So, the pathway I want to take you now is, now let's go in the right door. Just to give you guys a little tour in this level. Just cause. And I hate these bouncy things right here. Be aware of these. They're everywhere. But they're really simple. So you just gotta do this. Huh. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Those things are annoying. I hate those things so much. And you just go that way. Oh, what's here? 
I know if you go in here, like I did, if you go inside this area, um, if you hit this switch and you hit this one, you can go here. And if you go inside this door, I want to show you what happens. <clears throat> so, you'll actually go back to the same area. <laughs> kind of stupid, I know. If you hit this and you hit this, you can go here to the bottom route and this will take you to regular exit. I just want to show you everything in this level. I'm kind of giving you... I just really want to give you a tour in this level. I'm going to play the level one more time. I don't usually replay levels in a playthrough, but I want to replay it one more time just to show you another pathway you can go. <clears throat> so you can enjoy the tour of this boo house. I you, you'll still get to watch it. We're gonna go left like we usually do. We're gonna go left like we usually do. We're gonna hit this left switch. And we're gonna use a Tanuki suit to fly. Pretty cool, huh? And now, we're gonna go in the left door. And I wanna show you what's here. It's just these bouncy things like crazy. Nothing special here, but I figured you guys want to see. Um, if you go here, and now we'll just do the rest of the level like, like just like normal. We're just gonna hit. We're just gonna hit the right two switches, and we're just gonna um, go to the regular exit now. Um, very easy. If you hit the switch here, what you can actually do is you can take platforms here. I already showed you this last time, but... And there we go! I thought you would like to see what this one... So now we're going to, um... Let's go to Mushroom Dash 3. It's a lot easier in Mushroom Dash B. I have horrible memories of Mushroom Dash B. But don't worry, we'll do it next time. We'll do it next time. Alright, so we need to do some fuzzy beetles. We do this. Uh, uh, they're gonna give me Firefly over here, I think. And we're not gonna get it because I wanna have Tanuki suit to make it really easy on me. So, we're gonna be very careful. Um, this level right here is tedious, but very easy. But very easy. This is a very tedious level. It can be somewhat tedious because it's just the Stark ones make it tedious, is all it is. But very easy. It's not difficult. Um, so you want to ride the thing down and you want to do this. <laughs> and that's your first Stark one. Very easy. Like, um, I do have a little bit of bad memories of this level. I remember bad memories of this level. Of, I do remember having frustrating moments of this level because it's just a boring level. Like, it's nothing special about it. And I was bored of this level, I remember. And that's the only bad memories I have of this level, but it's not that bad. It's just, it's not just or anything by any means. It's just, it's just that. Um, so what you gotta do here is you wanna go inside this pipe. Alright. I'm glad I had the Tanuki tail while playing it, because it'll make it a lot easier. I'm gonna go inside this pipe right here. Well, if you hit that pipe block, there's a good time to fire flowers. Which I prefer the Tanuki suit because it makes it a lot easier. Alright, so. This dark one's kind of tough to get. But not really. It's kind of difficult to do, but it's not that difficult. You just have to. You, you just have to time it just right. It's easier with Tanuki suit, but without it, it'd be a lot more of a challenging to get. Excuse me. That's your last dark one. Keep in mind, if you're up there on those platform things, just like in the original Super Mario Bros. on the NES, you fall on the next platform. If you're if you're on the platforms going up, just like in the original Super Mario Bros. on the NES, 
your platforms kind of go down right here. We're not going to get any Mega Mushroom here because... Actually, I do want to. Actually, I do want to! Why the heck not? You guys would love to see the Mega Mushroom. Alright! The Mega... I love the Mega Mushroom so much. This has been such a fun play today. It's been one of my favorite play I've done. One of my all-time favorite 2D Mario games. It's a very unique Mario game. Alright. There we go. Can we get momentum to get it? Can we get top of the flight pole this way? I was close! Alright guys, um, we didn't even die once in this video, that was amazing. Alright guys, that was it, thank you very much for watching guys, and have a good one, I'll see you guys next time, peace.